Good morning. Welcome back to Morning Live. Friday night, the Hamilton Tiger Cats hosted the BC Lions in a regular season home game. Okay, it didn't go well for the Tiger Cats, but it was our pink game for breast cancer awareness, and it was the first ever Majorette Cheerleader alumni, Liz Delcy. You are the daughter of Dorothy Hurst, That's who was right. longtime director of the team from right back in the day, from when the team started. And mm -hmm. uh, it's so nice to have you. You were also on the team as well as a Majorette. Yes. And uh, as a mascot. As a mascot. <laughs> I love that. So, what mascot were you? I started in 1951, mm -hmm. and I was a single mascot, and then I became a Tiger Twin, and then moved up to the Tiger Teens, and into the Majorettes, and the Tigerettes eventually. Isn't that great though? And that's what I love to hear. I love to hear all the names, because so much of that has been lost. Um, there, are, there were so many different names of the, I mean, the Tigerettes, and their Tiger Kittens, and there were Tiger, I mean, and we're looking at, this is a shot here of uh, the team uh, back in the 80s. This is actually the 86 Grey Cup team. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously that was a big, uh, a big year. And we had a lot of, uh, now we're going way back. So this was when? These were, I believe, the Tiger Teens. I think that was around 1961. Wow. And that's my mother in front. Yep, your mother, and there's your mom there again. There again. And uh, so your, your mom was involved for how long? Uh, with the football club, 1951 to 1979. Think about that, everybody. Yes. That is a big commitment. Yes. That is a big commitment. And, and I, what I loved about, I mean, the majorettes, and oh, look at these shots. <laughs> They're the girls that tried out uh, for when they had the first Tigerettes for the cheerleaders. Oh, wow, look at the costumes. I love that. I mean, you've been sending me, we've been corresponding ever since we decided to put this alumni together. And this is something that we're going to continue to work on with the, for the Hamilton Tiger Cats for years to come um, to gather. And this is in the parade, obviously. I believe that was 1952. Mm -hmm. And that was uh, their first, uh, actually, official parade. Really? Yes. Oh, was, isn't that amazing? See, love this shot, too. Yes. These are great. Vince Wirtz in the center. Yes, Vince Wirtz, obviously, you know, he was infamous for so many years. And uh, it's great to see. I love this, too, sideline shot. Yes. The uh, third girl on the uh, right there, Doreen, she was there. Yes, that's right. Doreen yes, she, was there. Yes. yes. And Doreen, we'll show, actually, Doreen's coming up. Uh, and I think we have a picture of her coming up in a little bit. Uh, we'll show you. Um, Doreen is how old now? Uh, she's going to be turning 79 in yes, December. 79. And what a, what a, don't, 70, know, <laughs> don't know if I should say that. <laughs> I know, I probably shouldn't have said it. But you know what, she came out and told me, um, right. right, blatantly. And she is just, because I said, okay, 2014, when the new stadium's built, we're going to have a great alumni. This is going to get bigger and better. Um, this is actually from Friday night. So this is everybody. We try to gather everybody in one area at the end zone there on Friday night. Uh, great uh, fan turnout. And uh, there's everybody up in the stands as well. Elsie, of course, from Elsie's dance studio there, a yeah. um, couple from the right, and, uh, and they're actually, well, yeah, okay, there we go, so there's some out in the field. So basically, we took everybody out in the field, we put them in their, their decades that they represented. Some, of course, went over the decades, 50s, 60s, 70s, all the way up to current day, yes. and um, I think the common theme was everybody just loved getting to see old friends again. We did. We had so much fun. Right? Yes. Isn't that great, yeah, though? It was. And, uh, I mean, you were obviously in and around it with your mom. I mean, you were involved with it so many years, even before your actual personal involvement. You were just there because your mom was running the team. Mm-hmm. Right? She had me on the stage at two and a half. I bet she <laughs> did. And your mom, again, we, we, uh, your mom's name is infamous in this city for this, and she was so much involved. And, uh, and I, I heard about her so much from my mom. So, you know, when I started getting involved in the Ticats back in 1993, so it's just so much. And it was something, it's history that we don't want to lose. The cheerleaders are important. Important, you know, impact and, and important, uh, you know, aspect to the to the game just as much as the, the majorettes, the, the the football players. So um, again, there's your mom there, and it's just really it's just really great to hang on to this history. So 2014 new stadium, it's going to be even bigger and better. And um, and uh, little uh, Doreen said, you know what, I'll be 80 then, and I'm going to be there. So hopefully she'll have her baton, and we'll get everybody out there. Wonderful. Thanks, Liz. We really appreciate you coming on the show, Liz Delcy, Dorothy Hurst's daughter, and uh, again, Cheerleader Tiger alumni. You can go on to our website, tiecats.ca, and uh, please register. If you or, or you know anybody that was a cheerleader or a majorette in the past, mm -hmm. we want them part of our alumni so we can hang on to the, the memories. Yes. Okay. Thanks, Liz. All Thank right, you. we'll be back with more Morning Live after this.